Right, uh, sitting down with me next is a man I think that I have a lot of respect for. Now, when it comes to extreme, extreme sports, each one of, one of them has, has their own level of kind of danger and risk factor. But one I think that stands out above the rest has to be downhill mountain biking. And while most of us try and avoid going down a mountain at breakneck speeds on a mountain bike, for him it is a daily. And he does it so well. He's a multiple national and international champion. Stefan Galiki joins us right now. He's really making a name for himself in the South African mountain, downhill mountain biking scene. Stefan, thank you very much for joining us, my brother. Um, so good to have you. Let's let's have a chat about this insane career choice. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thanks, thanks very foremost. much for having me. Yeah. Um, you've had such a successful career so far on the bike. Um, so many titles under your belt as well. What is it about the sport that 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 keeps you coming back? You also had a recent recent fall. Yeah, I think it's just the uh, the adrenaline and the you know you want to live live on the edge, live uh, each day like it's your last, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so quickly, what what exactly happened? I see you've got your crutches here. Well, are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's gonna. It's a bit of a long road to recovery, but um, yeah, I actually broke my um, my femur, um, ah. but right in the hip hip joint. So uh, yeah, I hit a tree at about 40 k's an hour. So wow, it wasn't great. the ideal situation. But, uh, uh, but but that's not enough to slow you down. Okay? <laughs> no, it's it's unfortunately, I mean, that's just part and parcel of it. Huh? Yeah, I, I think that is uh, that is incredible. I mean, just looking at the footage and knowing a little bit about downhill mountain biking, it is such an extreme sport and requires immense focus. Um, you, you've obviously learned a lot so far with regards to the sport itself. What, what would you say to somebody wanting to pick up the sport? I'll just say that, I mean, practice makes perfect, first of all. So, you know, it's all about what you put into it. And because this is an individual sport, um, it's sort of a bit different. You know, you can't yeah. take your regular routes. You know, if you're doing a team sport like rugby or cricket or something like that, you know, yeah. you have to do it all on your own. And um, the more you put in, the more you'll get out. So. Um, yeah, just don't don't give up and, and keep keep working. And even if something scares you, you know, uh, like a broken femur, you know. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Don't let try and try and put that to one side and just focus on the positives and uh, and why you started. It's definitely a mental game. There's a big mental yeah. aspect around this as well to keep you going. But let's talk about mountain biking. I think as a whole, it's a sport in South Africa. Now, um, I know that cross country mountain biker uh, Alan Hatherley, he he made headlines this weekend after doing very well in Switzerland as well. What do you think this will mean, and, and also with your achievements, for mountain biking as a whole as a sport in South Africa? Where do you feel we are currently with us? Because it's a sport that I think is not as big as obviously your rugby, your crickets. Yeah, I think it's fantastic. I mean, we've had um, three world champions now, um, Alan Hatherley, uh, Barry Stunder, and Greg Minar, yeah. um, in, in the two different disciplines. And I think it's, it's quite incredible from, from sort of a small, from our small scene here, to go into the international stage and, and show them, you know, how to do it. Yeah. And I've actually known Alan for years. He did downhill before he did cross country. Um, and he was a national champion in downhill in the youth categories when I started, the yeah. first year that I started. So it's quite, it's, it's really cool for me to see, you know, where he's come from and um, to see him take the world title was, it was incredible. Yeah, absolutely. And definitely once again, shining the spotlight of what us as South Africans and mountain yeah. bikers can do at that as well. What, what's next for you? I mean, after your recovery, uh, what's, what's happening with, with regards to your career? So, I mean, the idea, I would like to be back back on the international stage and, and competing in the World Cup um, circuit again next year. Um, but the first step is to get healthy. Yeah. Uh, and it, if everything goes to plan, then I should be back on a bike, on a downhill bike by January. Yeah. Um, I'll be back on a road bike and things before that, but um, yeah. I'm actually going for a doctor's appointment this afternoon oh, really? okay. to have the have a six week checkup and see how things are going. So um, yeah, it's just it's got to work. So what are, yourself, what are you keeping yourself busy with in the meantime? <sighs> well, at the moment, a lot of admin. <laughs> and I haven't, it's <laughs> really? been it's been. I spent a couple of weeks in hospital over there in a German hospital, and no one oh. could speak English. So that was uh, that was a bit. Yeah. But um, boring <laughs> for me imagine. for the first couple of weeks. But <laughs> now we've gotten home and uh, been able to uh, yeah. refocus. And now we physio and, and doctor's yeah. appointments and lots of things. All like right, that my brother. Listen, I'm, I'm going to wish you all of the best to be safe out there. Thank you very much for joining Thank us. Thank you very much. And all the best with the recovery, my friend. And looking forward to seeing more of you, your name, and the headlines as well. I'm sure that's to come in the very near future as well. Thanks very much. Stefan Goliki joining us this morning. Downhill mountain biker extreme.